LumaFusion is my favorite editing app. Here's everything you need to know about how to use titles in LumaFusion. Titles are used for more than just text. In fact, in LumaFusion, a title is used for almost everything you do when it comes to building graphics. The first and easiest way to access a title is to tap the plus sign here from the main toolbar. You've got two options. You've got main title and you've got overlay title. If I select main title, that adds a title at the beginning of your clip. What happens if you insert a main title between two clips? If I tap on the plus sign and select main title, the title clip is inserted between my first clip, which ends here. My second clip, if you select overlay title, that adds a title at the beginning of your clip. Notice that when you use an overlay title, the black background automatically disappears and you can edit this title. The other way that you can access the title is tap up here in the upper left hand corner and select titles. You've got some user presets. You can see here's a couple that I've created. You've got plain text titles and other titles that are built into LumaFusion. To use one of these titles, just press and hold and drop the title anywhere that you want. You delete an overlay title, just select it, and then tap the trash can. To use a preset title, just select it and drop it down. If you double tap the title, this opens up a panel called the clip editor. You can see we've got three shapes and two text boxes. If you tap on each of these properties, you can see that the properties for that individual shape open up. And as they do, that particular element is selected. Let's modify this title and make it one of our own. I'm going to make a black and white shape. When I switched that last shape to black, the text disappeared. The second text object has the face color set to black. Just tap face color and choose white. The next thing you'll notice is that whenever you add some text, the default your text here is added. That's to let you know that you can change the text. Once the text is selected, just double tap it to bring up the keyboard and type your text. When you're done typing, tap done. There are two different ways to resize or reposition titles on the title screen and inside the frame and fit panel. As you can see, the first line of text is too big. Tap the line of text you want to work with to open the properties. And you'll see there's a size option right here. Just shrink the size down until your text fits inside your shape. You can increase the size by moving the slider to the right. You can use the arrows to either side of this line to adjust the size value. Or if you know the exact size you want, you can tap the little pencil to enter the exact value. Tap on frame and fit. Open up size and position. The fourth option on this properties list is size. You can shrink the title down a bit or you can increase the size. I'm going to shrink the title down here and move it over here. You can make the title a little bigger and move it around like this. That looks good. To save your graphic, just tap this star here. You've got a title preset. Give your preset a name. I'm going to call this one AI generated. Then tap done. Tap the star here. And you've got a new preset. And let's say you want to drop the title here. Just select the preset and drop it right on top of your main track. And it will appear. I'm just going to shrink that down. Titles can be used to create text effects. Up the plus sign, choose overlay title. If you are saving this as a preset to use in other projects, you can do this with align your text here. For best results, the face color of the font should be white since the text is supposed to be clear. Open the clip editor, make sure you're on the title screen and double tap the text. The opacity of the face color should be at 
Turn up the opacity of the edge color so you can see it. Adjust the width to about 3.5. If you know the exact value you want to use, you can tap on the little pencil and enter the exact value. Once you've typed it in, just tap enter and tap the X up here to close this window. To make the text clear, just reduce the opacity and set it between 30 and 70%. I think in this example, 40% is good. You can still read the text. When you're happy with your effect, just save it as a preset so you can use it in other projects. Titles can be used to create complex graphics that contain text, shapes, and images. Tap the plus sign and choose Overlay Title. Double tap your title to open the clip editor. This graphic is going to contain text, images, and shapes. Tap on the plus sign, tap shape, and then expand the rectangle so that it covers the entire video. Tap face color and choose either blue or green because Luma Fusion has a blue screen and a green screen chroma key. I'm going to create a preset similar to the one that you see here, but I'm going to use a different image. Tap the plus sign one more time. And this time, you need to tap on image. You can add any image you like. Tap on your image to select it, and it will appear on screen. Although the background appears white inside the image selection dialog window, notice that the background is actually transparent, and therefore the white background disappears. You need to decide whether to put your image on the left or the right. The original preset had the image on the left, Notice that the right edge of this image looks a little bit square. Therefore, I think the image would look better on the right. Position your image however you'd like it. Notice the image doesn't look so square. The problem isn't the square box around the image, but if you notice on the very right hand side of the image, my shoulder looks completely square. That's why I chose to put the image on the right rather than the left. Once you've got your image where you want it, tap the plus sign one more time and add another shape. The title screen you don't see a size slider. Uh, the option you do have is the scale option. Use the scale slider to increase the size of this shape so that it takes up most of the screen, but make sure you can still see it. To scale the shape in one direction, just use the scale X or scale Y sliders depending on the direction you need. I did not delete the text object. This was done on purpose to show you how to reorder your elements. The text is there, but you can't see it because it's behind the green shape. Long press and hold here. Drag the text object so that it's at the bottom of the list. Tap the font selector to choose your font. You can use whatever font you like. You could actually make the speech bubble any color you like. Just make sure that the text is visible when you move it on top of the shape. Tap face color and choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose black. I'm going to leave the text as your text here. Tap on the title screen, tap the star here, and give your preset a name. You don't have to type it, you can actually use text dictation in video message right. Once you've saved the preset, you can delete this graphic. Make sure the properties are closed and select your preset. Tap on the color and effects tab, tap the key icon, choose the green screen key which has the black background, shrink the size down so the graphic looks good. Here you can change the text. Notice the text does not fit inside the bubble anymore. If you want to make the text fit without changing the size, tap on the space bar, move the cursor to where you want, and tap return once. And now the text fits inside the bubble. When you're on the title screen, you'll still see the green background. But when you go back to the main timeline, the background will be gone and the graphic will appear at the proper size.
The easiest way to animate a simple text graphic is to tap the plus sign and tap on transition. A transition will be added at the beginning of the clip. Select the presets icon, this little folder with the star. Here you've got a bunch of transitions. Let's move to the other end and then make sure that you're back on the main clip and the graphic has disappeared. Now the transition is available once more. Select your transition, tap the presets folder, tap on the color and effects tab, tap on this little key icon right here. I need to apply a green screen key to remove the green background. The green background has now disappeared. There it appears. And there it disappears. The second way you can animate text is to use keyframes. To do this, open up a new project. You can either select an overlay title or a main title. Double tap your title to open the clip editor. Double tap your text to type the text you want. Then tap done. Tap the font selector and choose your font because the size setting will depend on what font you choose. Then tap face color and choose a face color. To add keyframes, you have to use either the frame and fit tab or the color and effects tab. I'm going to tab on frame and fit and expand to cropping. In this case, I'm going to show you how to crop the title from the left and the right. You need to add a keyframe with the text on the screen. Tap the add keyframe button. Make sure you're at the beginning of the clip. Move to the one second mark and bring the crop back to the white notch so that the text appears on screen. A new keyframe will be automatically added. Then go to the very end of the clip and go back frame by frame to one second before the end using the playback controls. Add a keyframe here before you do anything. Then move back to the very end of the clip and Crop the text again so that it disappears off the screen. One more keyframe was automatically added. When you play the clip now, this is what you have. The text appears on screen, stays on screen for a bit, and then disappears. So this text goes from left to right. Tap the duplicate icon to duplicate this clip and then place it end to end so that we can look at both examples. Select the second clip. Double tap that clip to open the clip editor. You'll notice keyframes, the blue dots, already exist. To remove a keyframe, just select each one individually and then tap on the little X in the keyframes area. Add a keyframe with the title blank, then move to the one second mark once more. Bring the right slider all the way back to the white notch. You'll notice that a keyframe has been automatically added. Next, go to the very end of the clip using the playback controls. Add a keyframe with the text still on screen. This time, instead of adjusting the right crop when you get to the end, adjust the left crop. Bring the left slider all the way to the right hand side so that the text disappears off screen. Once your keyframes are added, go back to the main timeline and play the second clip. This is the first example using the right edge where the text appears from left to right and then disappears back the way that it came. Here's the second example where the text appears using the right edge when it appears, but watch what happens when it disappears. The left edge is cropped and it makes the effect look a little bit different. Once you've got your animation done, you can save it as a preset. So you can use it in other projects just like before. Now go back to the main timeline. Here's an example of how this effect can work from earlier in the video.
Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to tap on the notification bell once you've subscribed so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.